Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tyke Schooling. Today's tutorial will be on naming the bones of the lower limb and little bit description about them. In this tutorial, we will not go in detail of lower limb, we will just discuss the names and few descriptions of the lower limb. So the lower limb is subdivided by hip joint, knee joint and ankle joint into following regions that is buttock, thigh, leg and foot. One thing to remember that there are 32 bones in the lower limb which includes 16 bones on each side and on each side we consider two, sesamoid, two small sesamoid bones which are in the tendons of flexors hallucis longus and the one there's a big patella that is the biggest and largest sesamoid bone in the human body. This one is patella. You can see the surface of patella, the anterior view, the lateral view and the posterior view. Let's discuss the bones one by one. As we go above in the initial side to discuss, uh, to better discuss the lower limb bones we must read and study one side one side so what we do we select only the right left lower limb and here we discuss that we have the hip bone the all the above hip bone and the lower one is the femur the two bones hip bone and the femur are joined together by this hip joint hip bone and the femur both are connected on the hip joint and as we go down, we find that we have the largest sesamoid bone in the human body called patella. So patella is the largest sesamoid bone in the human body. Lower to the patella, there are two bones. One is called tibia and other is called fibula. The thicker and the bigger one is called tibia. And the smaller and thinner that is on the lateral side the lateral side small bone is called fibula the joint here called knee joint is only formed by three bones namely as patella femur and tibia but the fibula does not take part in forming the knee joint so the actual weight of the body is is all transmitted to the foot through from fibre through tibia. So patella does not play any important role in this condition. And as we go down to the, as we go cross down and we find this ankle joint. So ankle joint is a very complex joint in the lower limb. There are a few other joints that are found in the lower limb. Here we are in the foot. So foot is a little bit complex. Foot is a little bit complex. The most posterior bone in the foot is called calcaneum, where the uh, Achilles tendon is connected. As we go in the front side, we find on the interior side we have, this is the anterior part of the foot. As we go to the medial side, we find that on the medial side we have talus bone this one is talus this bone is called talus bone and front of the talus bone that is on the medial side we have got navicular bone this one is navicular bone on the uh, at front on the and the anterior and medial to the medial of the foot there we have got uh, in front of in front of talus we have got navicular and in front of navicular we have got three cuneiforms these are three cuneiform bones and uh, on the lateral side we have got the big calcaneum the calcaneum bone and in the front of calcaneum that is anteriorly it have got cuboid phalanges we have got five metatarsals and three phalanges anteriorly but the big toe has got only two phalanges and as we have discussed earlier that we have got extra two sesamoid bones which are in the flexors hallucis longus tendon you can see in this diagram easily that where these 
down here these two sigmoid bones are located. So simply this is all about lower limb bones. So there is nothing, this is just a basic naming of the lower limb, nothing so complex about it. For future content, please visit Tiger Schooling and don't forget to subscribe.